Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. As of the end of June this year, the number of foreign residents in Korea surpassed 1.5 million. Gyeonggi Province is home to the largest concentration of foreign residents, accounting for more than 35% of the national total. Recently, Gyeonggi Province opened online Korean language courses for multicultural residents through contactless video classes. The courses, which also include topic classes for citizenship applications, are available both in the daytime as well as in the evening for working individuals. Students are placed in level-appropriate classes based on tests and receive customized education. Those wishing to join these courses can get detailed information from the Suwon Migrant Community Service Center and the Ansan Foreign Residence Support Headquarters. The monthly exports of Gyeonggi Province in July marked a record high of 12 billion U.S. dollars, a 20% increase compared to the same period last year. Despite challenging international trade environments impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, Gyeonggi's monthly exports have remained higher than 10 billion U.S. dollars for the past five consecutive months. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police recently investigated COVID-19 social distancing compliance at restaurants in the province. During a five-day investigation that began on August 2nd at more than 130 restaurants, violations were identified at six locations. These investigations will continue while extended Level 4 social distancing requirements remain in effect. Semez, a Korean semiconductor equipment enterprise and holder of the world's seventh largest market share in its field, will establish R&D facilities in Yongin City. According to an MOU signed with related authorities this week, Semez plans to establish its Yongin R&D Center with a total floor area of more than 165,000 square meters on a 100,000 square meter site in the Gomedong area of Yongin City by the year 2024. On August 23rd, Gyeonggi Province, the Korea National Railway, Co-Rail, and the cities of Goyang, Weijungbu, and Yangju signed an agreement to cooperate in the opening of the Gyoway Rail Line by 2024 for the improved transportation convenience and balanced development of northern provincial regions. This rail line spans a total of 32.1 kilometers from Nungok in Goyang City to Jianghung in Yangju City through to Weijungbu City. Based on this agreement, project design work to improve aging rail facilities will begin next month for completion in August 2022. On August 25th, Gyeonggi Province and the Gyeonggi Headquarters of the Korean Confederation of Trade Unions officially declared their intent to cooperate in labor-government bargaining. This marks the second such declaration, following the first joint declaration made in 2019, with the primary objective being the improvement of labor environments that have been negatively impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. To this end, the two parties agreed to appoint a task force to protect labor rights and improve labor conditions. This year, the Korea International Boat Show, which normally opens in March, will open on October 1st. The show will not take place in a hybrid format encompassing both online and offline events as originally planned, but instead solely in an online format due to prolonged Level 4 social distancing requirements. This year's show will feature the presentation of more than a hundred videos that will provide visitors, who have varied interests and expertise, with indirect experiential opportunities. There will also be a live commerce event with virtual sales studios through which various watercraft and related equipment can be purchased. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.